Good morning, afternoon, or good evening. Whatever time it is for you, I'm Psycho. It's time for more. Let's play a train simulator. This looks familiar. We're going to be driving a four car class 375 on a stopping service to London, Victoria. Uh, from initial glance, the only thing I can imagine is that this uh, is basically a London to Brighton type server with a 375 instead of a 377. Uh, I have not actually looked at this yet, so let's go ahead and open it up and see if I'm uh, right or if we're actually taking a different path than I initially expected here. Let's get going. Oh, got another achievement. Uh, now a 375 driver officially. There you go. Uh, I wonder if I would have gotten the same achievement if I brought it up on Chatham Mainline first. Hmm, no idea. Uh, good evening, driver. Today you will be driving the service from Orpington to London, Victoria, starting at Kent House. Ooh, so it is a different route. Okay. You will be calling it Kent House, Peng East, Sydenham Hill, West Dulwich, Herne Hill, Brixton, and London, Victoria. First, you'll need to pick up pastors at Kent House. Now, again, if I'm saying any of these names wrong, I apologize. I don't know all of the uh, London vernacular, as I'm going to call it, uh, the English vernacular in uh, the UK. I know um, I do my best. That's basically all I can say. Let's open some doors here. Doors are open. Let's turn the headlights on, which they're now on. Are the instrument lights needing to be uh, finagled with? Um, don't know. Uh, in any case, this is the same kind of train as the uh, other one that we have. Let's turn the wipers on because it's a wet day. So this is the same kind of train as we have on the uh, 375. It's the exact same type of train. The only difference, of course, is that a, it looks different. So it's a different skin. And there are probably other minor differences with the Class 375 as well uh, compared to the 377. But it's the same general model of train. Hello. Well, we're on the way. Let's get in the cab and get moving. Enough watching other trains at this point. So, uh, leaving uh, Kent House and apparently going... Why am I in reverse? Because I didn't do that. That's why. Okay, that makes sense. I didn't do that. Let's go forward now. I was on uphill going backwards. So, uh, yeah, that's not the way you start off a scenario, guys. Am I on a red signal? I'm on a red signal. I can't go anyway. That is my red signal, right? No, it's a double yellow. Okay, we're good. Let's go. I mean, the yellow signal meshes, meshes with the uh, sky there, so it's kind of hard to see that. So 60 miles per hour is our speed limit leaving Kent House, now that i figured out what I'm doing. We have to arrive at Peng East by 1601. So I expect a single yellow unless it's upgraded at this point, but at least a single yellow signal here, and there is at least a yellow. Now, in this case, we can go past the platform. The signal is a little bit beyond the platform, but at the same time, we don't want to do that because uh, naturally that would mean that we're going a little bit uh, too fast. Okay, I'm just testing the brakes on this again to get used to them again because I've not driven a 377 for a while. So brakes are fairly similar on both trains, just have to get used to them again. So here we are trying to slow down in the little bit of leg that we have. We have a four car train, which is going to also give us uh, the need for more braking power in the meantime. We are on time. Let's get the train stopped. Right on time. Well, a second late, but we'll take it. Arrival at Peng East Platform 1. Nice little horn there. Leaving Peng East, our next stop is Sydenham Hill. Now I was taking a quick look ahead at our itinerary here, and I'm going to show you. We have a green signal, it looks like, or sounds like. 
so we're good now. So I looked at our itinerary, I noticed that we have obviously some quick stops up ahead, but after we do the pickup at Brixton, you'll notice our next stop is London Victoria. Three miles away, we got about uh, 15 minutes to get to our stop there. So it looks like we're going to be stopping at a red signal somewhere after Brixton. So we are going to expect a bit of a delay waiting for our platform at uh, London Victoria. There is a service to Dover Pri Pri Priory, if I'm Dover Priory, or however you say that. So we're going to make sure we make these other stops on time, and after that, hopefully, we're given enough time from the red signal to uh, get to London, Victoria. We're not being forced to rush in and stop halfway along the platform like we have uh, on the other route. Now, I'm coming up at full speed to Sydenham Hill right now, so and West Dulwich is very close. We'll take a look at the map that we're traveling later to show uh, the different route in the scenario. We might actually have a little time to look at some other routes as well just to show some other uh, possible ways across the map as well. We've already seen two of them on the other stairs that I've played. This is our third one. Side, I did put, want to put this in between the other uh, four, five, six scenarios. Just figured it makes sense that way. Put a little variety in. Oh. Oh, look at that. You can actually use the uh, this brake and slow down and it affects the other brake. I did not realize this. Cool. Cool. I don't remember the other 377 doing that, so that's a bit of a scripting change. 72% break when I go to minus 60 on the throttle. That's interesting. So I'm getting down to 30 now. Well, close enough. I'm actually not going slow enough here, so let's go ahead and bring this down very quickly now. Hopefully we don't hit some wheel slip on the way. We are very early. We have another uh, almost a whole minute to make the stop, so I'm just kind of cruising in now slowly. Let's stop right there, please. I'm going to hold for just a moment here because we do have the time, and we'll open the doors now. So that's arrival at Sydenham Hill, platform number one. I don't know if you noticed me moving slightly as the doors were still open there. I actually was playing around with the brakes to get them down, and they went down to zero, and I was still moving even with the throttle brake applied. So be careful with the brakes, guys. Uh, leaving Sydenham Hill, uh, our next stop is West Dulwich. I don't think they caught me moving, so thankfully I am going to be able to keep going without uh, having a restart here. So be keep those uh, main brakes applied because the uh, throttle brakes are not going to be enough to keep you from moving. So we have a whole minute to make our stop at West Dulwich, which is good because we're good and close. So lots of time. We're not even going to try and get up to 60. There's no point. You can see Hearn Hill up ahead. You notice I did slow down quite a bit coming in because I do have the time. I can afford the time. But obviously I still want to come in at a decent enough speed that the passengers don't feel I'm kind of taking advantage of them either. I need to crawl now because I'm going too slow coming in at this point. So we're going to crawl forward. And I think I can do that until right up to the time that I want to actually stop to be on time. I'm not going to get to the end of the platform at this pace. But uh, we are going to get at least in front of the building area here as it shows on the HUD. I'm actually, I'm going to get close to the end of the platform. Let's get those doors open momentarily, and we will be good to go with our next mission after that. So we've arrived at West Dulwich, platform number one. Passengers are boarding.
leaving West Dulwich, our next stop is Heron Hill, which we did see up ahead a moment ago. There's our station stop sign at the end of the platform. And a green signal, leaving at 60 miles per hour. We have two more stops before our expected uh, wait entering London and Victoria. Waiting for our platform when we get there. And you notice the train's a little bit tilted in the current configuration. When I actually went out to get the uh, screenshot, I noticed there was a little bit of a tilt to the train. So there is some tilt to track as we uh, weave through the uh, southern area of London here. There's a 45 coming up. The 20 follows her in the hills, so we're not going to worry about the uh, 40, the, th the 20 until we leave the station, at which point we're going to need to worry about the slower speed. So I don't want to exceed 45 at this time. I mean, I probably could. Uh, it looks like... Uh, actually, it almost looks like I might almost have to. Because the, uh, the timing looks very suspect at this point. But uh, we should be still on time within the minute after that. So we should be okay. Let's make sure we don't go too far past 45. We are close to the sign. So we are under 45 now, which is exactly where I want to be at this point. Because we have to hit the brakes anyway. If we're going past 45 at that sign, we're going to be blowing past the station anyway. Let's remember that. A little bit of leg affected by braking there, so we're going to uh, try to catch up on that here. I'm going to go a little bit more on the brakes here, but I need to get a little closer first. All right. So now we are at the second we have to stop, so I am going to uh, slam those brakes on now. Ease them off a little because I should have the time. I want to keep it comfortable for the passengers. Doors are open at her and Hill. That should be good enough. A 20 mile per hour speed restriction as we take the junction up ahead, turning us towards Brixton. We're we'll actually be crossing a junction right here, it looks like. Or no, we're actually staying on this one. We're just merging into the other track, which is why we're going 20. Lots of tracks, more chance to derail, I guess. I don't know. We're now apparently allowed to go 45 again. So I should probably catch up on that. I feel a little nervous doing that right now, though, but we're going to go ahead. Just in case another Ram 20 showed up, I was a little nervous. So, uh, Brixton is not too far away. We have to stop in another whole minute. The timing takes into account that we had to go 20 in that area, which is good. And we have a 45 at the platform, so I'm just going to stop at 40, and that's good enough. But again, if we're going 45 by that side, we got a problem. That uh, alert, by the way, was a warning of the speed limit change. It was not a signal coming up on that. So there is the Morpheus board telling us the 45 coming up. Let's go ahead and start braking. Want to get down to 30 by the platform, which I've succeeded in doing, and I'm a little under that now. So I'm going to take the brakes off for a moment. And now we're going to reapply them again as we enter the platform. Another train, I didn't get the name of that, but uh, that train looks like it's either arriving for a stop or it might have already done a stop and it's leaving, I'm not sure. Okay, pop those brakes up a little more. Ease them off for the passengers, and we're close enough to being on time. We should be good here. Arrival at Brixton, and we got a long way to head for Victoria. Let's see what happens.
Please note you might be held at signals on approach to London Victoria. Noted. Leaving Brixton, our next stop, of course, is London Victoria. And uh, that service you saw passing in the background is actually service 9M44 heading for London Bridge. That just uh, showed up nicely on the uh, screenshot there. I wasn't even ready for it. I love when accidents happen like that. I'm going slowly because I know we're going to be getting held up at a signal. Uh, I mean, look at the amount of time we have to work with. We have three miles to go. But I do want to at least go 20 miles per hour. That would be more appropriate. There's another service going by over on the left. At some point, somewhere on our left, we're also going to be passing Clapham High Street. We're not going to be there for a little bit still, but you may see it through the left window as we go by. There's another train coming by. That's another train to Orpington, where we apparently originated from. Orpington does show up on the Chatham mainline route, at least one of them, I believe. Uh, so you can run services all the way to Orpington on that route, I believe. Uh, I don't uh, know the exact details besides that because I've not yet run the Chatham mainline. But I can also say that the Chatham mainline is basically DTG's base route, if you want to look at it that way. Uh, they're uh, located off of... Um, I can't remember the exact station, but they are located off one of the stations. That they, actually bought, they actually did model their building in its uh, genuine location near that station. So if you want to wait for the train, you can actually find their building in the uh, dock house, whatever it is they call it there. So you can actually find their building in the uh, Chatham Mainline DLC, which is kind of neat. I think it's Chatham or something like that that they're located in. And that's another place that we've stolen from them. We have a Chatham not far from where I live, oddly enough, in Ontario. There's Clapham High Street over on the left. Just give you a general idea where we are on the map. Let's pull up the map very quickly. You can see we are coming up to the conglomerate air section here where the uh, course mouth direct line goes under. The London Victoria is up there. So that's where we are right now. We are going to be passing Battersea Park in some way. Part of the reason I'm driving carefully as well is because I know that we had a broken signal on London Victoria in the London Debrate route that doesn't, doesn't want to work from a game save. So I want to make sure I don't screw up and uh, leave myself in a situation where I have to rerun the whole scenario uh, and try to get that signal again. So I'm trying to be careful, especially with responding to the alerts like that, uh, knowing that I could have an emergency break. So there is a double yellow. We are expecting a double yellow. So right now there's a red signal located at the 40 sign, just before the 40 sign. That is where we would be expected to stop right now. We hit a bit of an uphill, so I started slowing down there. I'm just reapplying a little throttle to maintain speed for the time being. There is the 20 after what would be our red signal. So I believe that is the last red signal before we go into London Victoria. Or there might be one more before London Victoria. Yeah, there is one more before the station. So we are going to have a red a little earlier in this one. The nice thing about having a red signal we're going to be sitting out for a while is that we're going to have the opportunity to do some train spotting. There's nothing wrong with that. We can watch some trains go by. Apparently we have a 15 at our station stop for this uh, journey. Ooh, that was a nice little bump. So I'm not used to a 15 entering London Victoria. That's going to be a little different for us. I wonder if that is a junction speed. Another train coming by. I didn't get the name of it in time. So you can see the red signal to the left. We have a yellow signal on our track, so we are good for one more uh, signal here, but we're going to have to start braking. Notice that the, the junctions ahead are not set for our platform. So you can see the platform is not lit up. The junctions are set against us for our platform. We can pull up to the signal, but then we have to stop and wait for our junctions. 
even ground just came up there on the uh, HUD. Looks like the uh, ground indicator actually disappeared for a moment. So I've dropped under 20 so I can easily stop the train as needed. A tenth of a mile away from the signal, which it looks like is still red. I'm going to start breaking for the signal. This will do. So we're going to pull up gently to this signal and come to a nice controlled stop. We're not going to pass it because that would be a game over. In real life, you have to call in and indicate that you pass the signal and then have, as I've heard it referred to, tea and business with the boss the next morning. Uh, we just get a game over and we get fired. End of discussion. So I'm going to pull up just a little bit more here because we do have a little more room. screen comes on at around two miles per hour you might have noticed there you can notice the uh, triangular shape morphous board on the signal as well indicating that there's a 20 coming up the section we're entering is actually going to be a 40 when we get through this signal and that will do for our purpose I don't want to go all the way in case I slide forward slightly so I can control it and we just have a bit of a wait now let's take a look at the map for a moment and see what it is we're dealing with up here so I mentioned that signal is not set for us. We're going to platform four, but the plat the path we're currently going on has us basically running aground here. And I'm going to assume that it continues for, I don't know, platform two? Or I don't know, the, there's a train leaving platform five right now, which appears to be the one we're going to be waiting for, this uh, one S50. There's also a train over here leaving platform 13, the SNE04. So we got a little bit of business going on. They're both coming in our direction. We're going to get to watch this these guys come by. There's also one P44 sitting here waiting for a path in as well, which is not me. I'm back here. So I'm actually behind that train. It is further ahead. So we're going to be able to hop ahead, take a look at some trains here. Let's do that. We've been cleared for a single yellow signal. Now that will not get us to the station. We can simply move up to the next uh, part of our um, progress here. So the next signal is three tenths of a mile away. That will be the final signal before the platform. Uh, it looks like we will have to wait for another train. So that train that was ahead of us, we got a picture of it earlier. That train appears to have moved on. If I go to the map very quickly, we can look ahead and see that we're following that train which just started moving. That's why we're able to move up. We're probably waiting for the train coming in the other direction right now. So let's make sure we don't exceed 20 for right now. There is a yellow signal. I'm not confident that that's my signal, so I'm not going to act like it is. We also have to make sure we stay under 20 anyway. We have a red signal. That is a yellow signal on another track. So we're going to keep ourselves going slow for right now.
There's another train coming out right now. That is the SNE06 service. I see another train back there coming up with a label as well. We'll see that in a moment. Let's make sure we don't slide past this signal. That would be very bad. And once again, we have a little bit of a wait here. All we can do is wait. You can, now this time you can actually see the junction where we're supposed to be pulling in. The track is once again definitively set against us. So when we see that junction changes for us, we're probably going to be clear to go. Since we have to arrive in the next four minutes, I would say that's going to clear for us in the next minute or two. So I will stay with you for this and just talk about the upcoming scenarios on the channel. I am looking at doing the next two, uh, four, five, excuse me. <coughs> Ooh, that was fun. I'm looking at doing the next four, five, six scenarios, both of them. Uh, this coming weekend. So this is the Tuesday broadcast. We're going to be doing the next two, four, five, six scenarios this weekend. Then we're going to come back and we're going to do the other three, seven, five scenarios. These are both shorter scenarios. So we are definitely getting some, or these three, seven, five scenarios are all the shorter scenarios. So I want to get these longer ones recorded just in case I have some kind of problem where I end up having to go AWOL again. Uh, so I have a little more control with the longer ones already done. So I'm going to get those longer ones recorded. We're going to get them aired. I'm going to do the other two, three, seven, five scenarios Tuesday, Wednesday of next week, which uh, means I will once again have two weeks of content ready to just edit and put up as I'm ready to put it up. And then I'll, uh, I don't know, pick something else to drive and we'll drive that. So you can see the junction has changed for me now to platform four. We are able to proceed into the platform at this time and the signal does indeed confirm platform four is our destination. We're going to get a little speed going here because we can go up to 20 miles per hour. It's going to drop to 15. So knowing that that would take us about four minutes to go an entire mile, we only have about a quarter of a mile to go, so we should be okay at that speed to pull into our stop. And maybe go all the way to the buffer. We'll see. I'd like to do that. So there are no more signals. That thing at the end of the platform is actually just a uh, end of track signal. So it's a double red, which you only see at the end of a track. junctioning over now which is why we're on the 15 so it might actually go back up to 20 at some point as we're driving along but uh, we have to take the junction at 15 that's why we had the speed change so you may see the 20 reappear there there's a train over there by the way that's a service to Rochester 2k28 speed back on here for a moment though I am going to probably drop my speed to 10 as I enter the platform just to make sure I don't get tripped by emergency brake by accident so we're gonna try to be a little careful coming into the platform let's lower the speed now that should do there is gonna be a panel in the track here which would control our speed coming in I have been tripped by those panels before so I am being uh, very cautious here even, even at a controlled speed, I was tripped by once. I couldn't understand that. I am going to try to come in at 10, though. So we are very close to our signal at the end of the platform now. Almost looks like we're on the track in the middle, but we are actually on the track on the right there. We are going to pull all the way to the buffer, I believe. But knowing that sometimes that does screw with our goal and if the game might think we overshot, I do want to leave a little bit of room here. We're taking advantage of every second here as well. Here we go. That's good enough. Doors are open on time at London Victoria. Let's look at the train as our service concludes. Lots of services here today. You can see me in the middle. I'm right here. There you go. So we're down our service. Uh, we are on platform number four. And we're waiting for this service to conclude so we can move on to our next project, which is going to be another four, five, six scenario. I believe this will be the outer circle service. I believe it is the next four, five, six scenario in the uh, list. So we are going to stick with that order. 
You'll notice that the 375 stairs are actually in scenario order in my scenario list already. I confirmed that with the manual, so I don't have to check the manual on those. That's fine. Uh, so the outer circle service will probably be the next one that I'm going to do on the 456. And yeah, we'll uh, see you on the Friday scenario for that one. So stay tuned for that one. I've enjoyed this so far. I've heard people say that there are bugs on this route and that some of the platforms aren't right. But so far, except for possible platform inaccuracy, I've actually enjoyed this route. Some good screenshots I've had as well in some places. You have successfully completed this scenario and have arrived at London Victoria without making any mistakes on the way. Even with the delays today, you have made good time. That should be a new sentence, but we'll ignore the grammar for now, I guess. So scenario is complete. Let's look at our story screen. Let's look at that uh, achievement I got at the start of the scenario, which I actually get to show you for once. Let's look at it. Well, we got another scenario achievement too. Catching up with time, I think, is what the achievement just was called. Uh, but the first one was the South London Network 375 driver to show that I'm now driving the Class 375. The other one that I inherited is the Scenario Achievement. So I have acquired the Scenario Achievement, and as you can see, nothing wrong. So we got our 1,000 points, and that's that. So I will see you for the next scenario, which is going to be, I believe, the Outer Circle Service. We will see what that entails next time. So uh, stay tuned for that. If you are looking at my playlist and the next video has already been published, you will be seeing that coming up immediately following this on the playlist. So you can see the videos one after another if you wish to. Certainly a feature I take advantage of. I bring up a playlist on the TV and I just let videos play one after another. And I, I don't even need TV. I just watch stuff on YouTube. And that, you know, that takes care of my whole TV problem. So I like that. A feature I certainly take advantage of and you can too. I make sure you have the ability to do that if you want to do that. So uh, definitely feel free to take advantage of that if you want to uh, binge watch some Train Simulator content. I will show you some stuff here. In the meantime, I hope you do have a wonderful day, evening, night, whatever it is for you, you're part of the world. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel just to know when I do release more content. And if that video is already published, that video will be starting in 3, 2, 1.